podcast with Versace. What's up, bro? Dude, I'm fucking kicking it in the we're in we're in NoHo. You know the vibes? No ho. No, no ho. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> but yeah, no, we're here. They these guys, these lovely people invited me to the to the the cast. Let's fucking do it up. You know, like it's a nice day. I've never done one of these let, let alone outside, so it's pretty pretty fucking sick. It wasn't a nice day, now it's a beautiful day. Yeah, it's been an Just because you got here. Oh, oh, I see what you did there. He brings the good weather. We actually, <laughs> From uh, Tirana. We actually <laughs> made a little bet this morning, Perry and I. One dollar bet, something light. Yeah. Um, I, I, was, I was telling him that, that it wasn't going to be a nice day out, and he was telling me it was going to, so oh, I owe him a wow. dollar now. He was doubting the weather app. <laughs> to be honest, dude... I was also doubting. Like this morning, I looked out the window. It was cloudy. It was so gloomy. It was morning. gloomy. I have more faith in tech. Fair enough. Dude. I don't know. I feel like the weather channels and the weather app is just so inconsistent. Like it's they true. could say whatever and you would like believe no, it's it. No, fair. I don't even know who to trust anymore. <laughs> <laughs> so we've got a helicopter oh, going wow. over us right now. Go get him, partner. I think we're go, near an, an airport get him. too. <laughs> <laughs> what have you been up to out here? Out here, dude, I've just been working on music, um, getting the new single, getting the new single on the go. Um, and yeah, just like working with homies. Uh, I met up with, I met up with Aries, actually. Uh, we uh, we did like a little Hi. working on Aries. some shit. Uh, Aries and uh, Wyatt Otis, crazy, crazy guitar Sick band. Sick guitar, yeah. Yep. And um, Ramzoid, dope producer, uh, dope artist. And uh, working with Pharaoh Vice too. He's a dope producer. Yeah, a lot of those are like the, the people Aries works with. Yeah, right? yeah. We had like a little hangout. It was a, it was really cute. <laughs> <laughs> what did you guys do other than music? It sounds like you were. Uh, you were well, honestly, we were in the studio. We just kicked it. It was dope. We just like we were working on like some ideas and shit. And um, my tummy my tummy started to hurt, so I had to leave. Actually, <laughs> <laughs> seriously. I had such a bad tummy ache. Anyways, it's gone now. Good. It's gone. Were you nervous or did you eat something bad or? No, dude. Honestly, it's so weird. <laughs> <laughs> it's because I had um, what was it? Because like remember, the first week I was here, I was sick. I, I got yeah, sick. Yeah, the first time we were gonna do yeah. a pod, you were yep. sick. Yeah, but dude, this that I was just not feeling good. But like this time around, dude, like I got here on the twenty first of May. And I got sick, like the flu, for the whole, for a whole week, and I was the worst, dude. Mm. I just had to sleep. I canceled everything, and I just slept, and shit. And then after that, I had stomach, stomach, stomach aches. I had stomach aches, dude. So bad, like out of nowhere. I couldn't eat anything but soup. You know what I mean? So then I did that up, and I was good. Now I'm perfect. Now I can eat anything. Optimal health right now. I could eat this microphone. That's the worst when you travel somewhere and then you end up getting sick and then you can't be like at home in your own bed and oh yeah, yeah, in your comfort zone. Luckily, my manager took care of me. Shout out Brad, dude. Shout out Brad. Shout out Brad. Yeah, for realsies. No capsies. (laughs) Oh God. No cap. (laughs) But uh, so when you're out here, do you just like pack in sessions or do any Mm. sightseeing or? No, I wish I was doing more sightseeing. I don't really do a lot of that. But, you know, this is, uh, to be honest, I don't really like doing things in general. (laughs) Now that I think about it. (laughs) But, but like, yeah, I usually just, I'm doing uh, sessions. I'm trying to get used to it more. Like, I'm trying to do more more sessions to get more comfy. Um, Like, build that, like, strengthen that muscle. Um, But, but yeah, so that's mainly what I'm doing out here. But it's always nice to see, like, friends and shit when I'm out here, too, you know? Because I feel like there's a lot of people out here I don't see a lot because mm-hmm. I'm, I'm in Toronto. So it's just like kind of tucked right. away. Yeah, I'm tucked away. I can't see many homies. I just I mean, I have lots of homies in Toronto, too. So I have lots of friends. I have so many friends, man. It's so fucking crazy. Social king over here. <laughs> I have so many homies. They all miss me. And like, <laughs> <laughs> and it's just like so hard to keep up. You know, so I come out to L.A. I'm like, hey, I'm here for you. <laughs> No, but, um, no, but like, honestly, it's nice to see some of my friends. I saw like, like for instance, uh, I, 
uh, my homie uh, Puma, he drums for me. Um, and he's he's a drummer for like a bunch of other people. Like he just he just drum was drumming for uh, Femme on a okay. oh, tour yeah. um, with Avril Lavigne. That was sick. But he just got back from that, and I got to see him. But I haven't seen him since Wonder World. Since Wonder World Fest. Yeah. Let's talk about Wonder World. That was a lot of fun. That was sick. And that was the last time we saw you. That was what like seven months ago. That's so fucked up. <laughs> I was Crazy. so fucked, dude. Because it, it's like in reality, you think about it, and I'm just like, oh, no, that was like, what, two months, three months ago? Yeah, My time mind. really flies. It's crazy because it's like it's 2023 now. That was 2022. It's like the end of 2022. Yeah. 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 And that was the first time we met in person. Yeah. After being internet, Online, internet movies, yeah. Yeah. friends for a bit. So dude, that was sick. That, that was, was such, such a good, good time. time. Such yeah. a good time. Jinx. Shout out Aries and dude. Jinx. Yeah. <laughs> My whole team. You know what's crazy, guys? Is I found out about you guys from my homie, uh, Young Lungs. Young Yo. Lungs. Yeah. Because you guys are tight. You guys yeah. have a couple songs together. Yeah, dude. He's my dude. He's uh, That's awesome. Because he's in Toronto too, right? No, he's in, uh, it's Waterloo. So it's like two or three hours from Toronto. Okay. Okay. But I remember, I think it was in the middle of the pandemic when people were doing like the, the story takeovers. Oh, he did a takeover for us. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's how I found out about wow. you guys. Because we That's were sick. trying to, I think we did back in the day like an artist spotlight on you, which is something yes. like a, it was like a graphic that yes. we post on our Instagram. And I saw, I and went on my DMs and I saw you guys. Yeah, I forgot. Because we were like so hype on you, but I mean, back in the day, like we were like fanboys of you. Like, <laughs> like literally, like <laughs> yeah. we, we yeah, loved your music. Best. Like I think that was like 20, before your album, yeah, I don't it was remember a, what it was before your album, featured, but, but uh, no, that's crazy. That's sick that yeah, he dude. put you on for sure. Yeah, that's, man, that's awesome. It was so trippy. It was like uh, I remember that's how I first like came to see you guys, and I saw you guys were posting shit, and I was like, I was like, oh shit! I'm like, sheesh, that's a pretty sick name. And then I remember everything was just history after that, dude. And now we're all besties, straight up for life too. For life too. Yeah, yeah we can't even change that. <laughs> Before we did this video, they actually told me not to say anything about this, but we did a blood oath and uh, spit in each other's hands <laughs> after. <laughs> it was really fucked up. And we have uh, each other's names tattooed on our backs. Yeah. Yeah, we do. So. I would do that. I'm like... <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I want to get more tats. I only have one. How, where is it? It's on my arm. It's like... um, What's it called? A little heart. Oh, fire. I like that. With some with, eyes? With eyes and, and, uh, nice eyelashes. and legs. My girlfriend uh, drew it. And oh, we got dope. the same one. We both got the same one. Matching. It's very adorable. <laughs> yeah. Quite adorable. But yeah, do you guys have tats? No tats. No. No? Not yet? Only thing I would probably get is something sheesh related. Mm. So like the bolt maybe. Okay. Or yep. yeah, bolt would I was thinking hard. like 97 because that's the year <gasps> I was born. You were born 97 yes. too. Oh, yep. so that, that would kind of... We're all 97ers. Yeah. When's your birthday? Uh, December 11th. Oh, we're close to each other. No. I'm February. He's like... I'm at the end. We're, yeah, not the end. we're not close we're at the to beginning. each other. I'm so January. He's we're January. not close wow. to each other. But we all wow. we're born in the same year. The same year. We'll so take that's, it. That's I'm dope. technically a 98. You know what I mean? Like I'm technically no, like you're not. You late December? Yeah, I'm December. I mean, I'm December 11th. Okay. But I mean, I'm saying like that's the last month no, of the December year. December you know I mean? 15th on, you'd be like 98. Maybe 98. Yeah, fair. 98. Yeah. <laughs> thank, you for, 98. thank you for taking me in as one of your own guys. Yes. Yes. It's a it's a legendary year. Yeah, dude. Honestly. That's uh, that's Jordan, yes, Pippen, yeah, yeah, dude, Bulls era. I honestly, I'm trying to find like, I was trying to get some jewelry or something that said '97 or something on it. Haven't found anything dope yet. That would be tough getting like a custom piece. This is the Homer. um, Oh, you're right. You're right. The Homer uh, plus pendant thingy. That's sick. That's dope. Yeah, I like it. Do they have a Homer store in Toronto? No, just New York, right? New York. York. Yeah. Yeah, I just got online. Oh, okay. Yeah, you know me. <laughs> Online shopping, man. <laughs> Told you, I don't like We should doing talk things. about, so are you a big Frank Ocean fan? <laughs> I'm a pretty big Frank Ocean fan, but I'm not like, um, I'm not like a uh, diehard name every single song in the discography type yeah. shit. I'm more of like a fan of him as a songwriter and like his like voice and his like, um, there's certain songs that I enjoy more than like um his other songs like in his bigger discographies like blonde or 
um, you know, channel orange. Like I, for instance, you know the song DHL, and like uh, in my room, like in my room, in my room, like, yeah, yeah, it's a banger. Probably. Like those ones, those are like sleepers. my favorite. Yeah. yeah, those are sleepers because I feel like those are from the album that he scrapped or some shit. I think. Um, but, man, also the time. It's also I associate it with like the time I was listening to yeah. him, yep. and like That's I was, I was a big time of change for me. So it was just like, I automatically have a connection to those, you know. But yeah. I love those songs so the much. The production on In My Room is so sick. Dude, that was Sango. Sango? Yeah. He's like a dope producer. Um, one of the first producers I was into when I started making music. So I know you like Monty Booker, too. Mm. Who are some other producers that you're... Uh, the OGs, the ones that got me into it. Or, like, like that I got into their shit, obviously. Like, that's how I found it. But um, Mr. Carmack and... Uh, Sorry, Montel, I meant... Oh, Montel 2099. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. That was in the last both, combo we had. Both super both sick. Both sick, yeah. Um, and uh, ooh, Toro y Moi. Mm. Very dope. Yeah. Love his shit. Uh, yeah, his shit was also really, like, insp- inspiring for, like, my beginnings. Um, in terms of, like, the producer vibes. You know, he's very, like, DIY. Uh, he's always been, like, he's the one doing everything. So it's, like, also inspiring. Um but yeah, those are some like the main ones I would say. But other than that, when you're talking about like artists and shit, I'm like the Bonnie Bear train, the James Blake train. Um, there was a time, time and place where I was a big, big Mac DeMarco fan. Like, like my whole everything was Mac DeMarco. How I dressed, <laughs> how I like fucking like spoke to people and shit. I would, like <laughs> my whole personality was watching Mark Mac DeMarco like YouTube videos. You know what I mean? And also Tyler Crater YouTube videos. Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? Like, the He's, interviews. Didn't Mac DeMarco just drop an album that had, like... It's like a... How many songs? 200. 200? 200. 200. And 199. Oh, my God. 199. That's what it was. Yeah, dude. Well, <laughs> did, did, you like did you run it up? Did you run it up? Yeah, I'm actually still going through it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. It's been, like, five months. Yeah, it's been <laughs> still five. going through it. Yeah, man. I'm just... Oh, it's so hard. Powering through, man. <laughs> Powering through. No, man. No way. I, I, I skimmed through it. Yeah. Like, there is... Um, what was it? There's like there's some songs that are just dates, you know, like really the the names of each song is like a date of when it was made. Yeah, it'd be hard to come up with the yeah, 199 song yeah, titles. Yeah, I think it's super respectable though because nowadays you're seeing artists like just not putting out enough music. Yeah. So for him to just be like putting too Fuck much, it. I'm gonna <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna drop Let me a, 199 <laughs> songs at once. I mean, I wonder how they're streaming. Oh. Probably. Not great. I mean, it's a hundred and ninety. Dude, songs. he's got a lot of str- like monthly. He does have a pretty. He's yeah, legit. Pretty dude. good fan base. So he's amazing. I wanted to talk about this though, like, um, for producers. Like, do you think producers get enough respect? Cause I've I saw something recently where like I, I don't know if it was a tweet or what it was exactly, but like how producers should also be in like the um the name the name of like songs and stuff Mm -hmm. because there's so many even like great producers that don't even make it to like the song credits like it's crazy and i know you like you're a fabulous producer you do it all so like what what's your thoughts (laughs) on on all of that um i think that if you asked me that like probably four or five years ago like i would say like 100 percent um like what the fuck (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> like, <laughs> seriously man i like in like four or five years ago i was very much you know like fuck everything um you know it, it's like producers are the same as as vocalists and like it's it's there's not an equal like treatment you know um but i mean it depends it really depends on um the relationship of with like the artist and the producer and i think that there's so much more to being um, it when you're an artist. I think it's like uh, there's like a whole other. It's a whole other like uh, experience for the listener with an artist. And if the when the producer's uh, name is in there, I mean, it doesn't really matter at the end of the day. Um, like they can be on there, but I'm I'm thinking that like there's a whole vibe. It's just like oh. Some artists just be like, oh, this is my song, and I just want to be, I want to have 
it just be like, oh, this is my song that I wrote. Because they made the song, like, with the intention of a story or whatnot. Or, like, mm-hmm. the writing is the main thing that matters to them. Like, they're creating, like, the whole narrative yeah. and the visual aspects and yeah. all the promotion going behind it and everything like that. So, that does make sense. Definitely, dude. And it's like, if that producer wants to do something where it's like, oh, um, I want to be credited in a title, it's I feel like that would have to be the producer song. Like, like on some Metro Boomin shit. Or right. like Kenny you know Beats, Beats. Yeah, yeah, something similar to that. It's like, oh, this is my song, and the the vocalist is is featuring on this, you know? Like, even though they're singing on it, it's still, like, the producer's song, you know what I mean? Right. Which and is something... had a promotion, like, there, that makes a lot of sense. I feel like that's, yeah. that's like, a fair way to look at it. It's like, because I've never seen anything like that until the Metro Boomin of Boomin's, like, projects. And also the... Uh, who is it? Fuck. Mike Will made it. Yeah. He also did yeah, that. Yeah. He also did that. He had a whole out like project. It's Pierre becoming Bourne a lot too. more yeah. popular. Exactly. He's, he's even. He's a singer ra- now. Yeah, though. singing. That's a different. Stuff. That's a different. And then, yeah. uh, I guess a little bit different, but like Pigeons and Planes did mm. the album with executive produced by Mike Dean. Oh, a little bit a little, different, little I think, different than what we're talking about. Oh, we want to do a Sheesh album at some point. Oh, yeah, um, we will at some point. Yeah, I mean we're a little far away from it, but definitely maybe something executive we produced by Versace. Oh, hey. <laughs> that would, that would go. Oh, that would be that would go nuts. crazy, dude. <laughs> that would go. Nuts. We got it on that note. I mean, you made our uh, intro beat, which right is so sick. Hell yeah! Um, I, I didn't know if you guys would like it or not. Honestly, we love it. No, because the story is like we. We both remember you posted a snippet of that beat. Oh, a minute ago. Like a minute ago on your story, but one of us sent it to each other, and we're like, yo, this is so sick. Because at that point, we're like, we need some new Versace music. And then when you, like, whipped it up with the sheesh ad-libs, we're like, yo, wait, this is that beat, like, that we heard. Yeah. So So, sick. I didn't know that you guys remember it. Yeah, dude, I made this post. I made a post with that beat, like, 2021, I think. And it was... It was a video, like, you know how you can uh, 3D scan things now? I, I remember the video. Oh, yeah. yeah. yeah it was uh, sick. It was like. I think I sent it, like, to Perry <laughs> right when I saw it. It was so stupid, bro. <laughs> it was, I got my friend to 3D scan me with my phone, like, in my studio. Me T-posing in the fucking studio. And I'm like, so I'm like this. And you can, like, m- you can scrub around the room. So it's just like me standing still, and then everything is moving like, <laughs> and I'm like doing doing circles and shit, and then like the beats like, boom, 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 boom. <laughs> it's hard. It was hard. It was, it was hard. It was tough. <laughs> I mean, on that note too, like I feel like you have so much fun with your Instagram. Like you just you just <laughs> yeah. like kind of troll with it in a way. I do. Yeah. What's I mean, your yeah? What's your vibe with with socials and Instagram? Yeah, man, honestly, it's been changing more and more. Like, I don't know about you guys, but, like, I struggle to do, like, the whole professional um, post. Be like, hey, guys, so here's my new single. Um, Want to listen? <laughs> Follow this link. Like, I can't. I can't. <laughs> Go pre <pre-suit. laughs> Yeah, like, I can't. I can't just do that. Like, I need it to be. I need people to know that I'm everything I'm doing is like tongue in cheek. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, you, and even if I'm, promoting. you show your personality with it, which yeah. makes it yeah. more fun. Where it's not like super, like, hey, like, yeah, exactly. Which I think it's cool. Like, I, I think it's a cool approach. And thanks, man. That's 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 what's gonna make fans gravitate towards you. Like, they wanna they wanna see your personality and who you actually are. Cause I'm sure there's tons of artists out there that don't even make their own posts. They have like yeah, social media sure. interns and stuff like Which that. Which I doing also it. get. Yeah, <laughs> no, I understand I mean? that too. <laughs> like, but, um, I don't want to. Sometimes I don't even want to yeah, be doing that. You yeah, know? exactly. Yeah, it just comes off more genuine because Yo. you can tell that's your personality and it's not forced in any way. I appreciate it. Because you're not really relying on your social media to gain like a new, like more fans, it yeah. seems like. Like you're just going purely organic with it. Like, yeah, man. It, when new people come in, great, and that's yeah. seems like what you're what you're kind of doing with it. It goes the same for like people that leave too. You know, like <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like I'm definitely <laughs> weeding out. I'm weeding out a lot of ba- uh, people that <laughs> don't fuck with me, man. Like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. like, dude, I, some of the replies 
some of the replies I get, like most of them are, are good. People are like, you're crazy. People are like, <laughs> people are like, what? They're like, I'm dead or whatever. Like, you know what I mean? But then there's like the oddball that would be like, you're like, you're so fucked. Like, <laughs> <laughs> people would be like, be like, yeah, why don't you think about who's watching your video, your, your story <laughs> like lately, huh? They're like, what do you even mean by this? Unfollowed. Or like so, people will be like, <laughs> they'll tell you too. Like, oh, dude, bye. some people, some people are the worst, dude. Some people are the worst. Those are the ones that can happily go. Though. Yeah, yeah, exactly. They're, That's what I'm saying. Yeah, you don't need them anyway. <laughs> I'm like, dude, trimming like, the fat. Yeah, yeah, dude. I've gotten. It's crazy. Like, if you have any presence online at all, there's always going to be someone that is mad at you. Hundred percent. Like, always. No matter what, and it's insane to me. Like, I remember. Um, what was it? And oh yeah, in Amsterdam, uh, on the Aries tour, we played a show there, and it was sick, like super dope. Um, and there were some really cool fans that I met after too. But I got this one DM after the show, and this dude sent me a paragraph. He's like, "Dude, super great show. If you make bad music, like he's like, <laughs> if you're a shitty artist, and he's like, <laughs> oh, and God. he's like, if you told me that I was gonna come to a show and see you." and see you like lip sync for about two hours then I, yeah i would come through but this come on he's like <laughs> he's like this is shit he's like i expected so much more about from you this was a rip off and i was like oh. i was like holy shit dude i wasn't lip singing bro like i think that's like a compliment actually but like i was like damn dude so backhanded though yeah i was i responded yeah what do you like, say back to that dude i was like dude first of all Fuck you. <laughs> like, <laughs> I think that's valid at that point. Yeah, and I was like, your ground. second of all, dude, I wasn't lift singing. Uh, I, I, I may have had, like, my backing vocals on, but, like, I wasn't lift singing or anything. And then the bro responds, like, oh, dude, thanks for responding. <laughs> they just dude, want That's attention. what it is. They yeah. just want a response. They want a response. It's oh, crazy. dude. I can't let it get to your mental, though. Oh, no, all. I can't. I've, yeah. After this, after all this stuff I've gone through, man, like, uh, one of my my earlier shows, I had one fan that uh, was like, um, they actually asked to hang out uh, or to me to say hi after the show. And I was like, so down, you know, but after the show, we uh, right before I, I went on, we found out that we had to drive to the next place at night, like the next uh, location. So I couldn't hang out. You know, I had to leave. And I basically like I just so I left after the show. And then this person goes on Twitter and is like, wow, so Versace doesn't care about his fans, actually. He's actually the worst person of all time. And he actually hates his fans, to be honest. He actually hates them. <laughs> and, then, <laughs> and I'm like, I'm like, no, what? And like, we're canceling Versace. <laughs> I was like, dude, what do you mean? I respond. And I'm like, why would you say that? I'm like, I had to go. Like, I didn't mean to, like, hurt your feelings. Like, if, like, the next show, I'll get you in for free. We can, we can hang out. It's not a big deal. And then they're like, can I do merch for you? Like, I'm like. The yeah. switch up is just so Immediate, foul. immediate. Like, I'm like, dude, what in the balls? That's exactly what I thought what to in myself. The balls? It puts things into perspective. Like, if they're going to. Of, like, their like, I, I feel like, yeah, the motives behind the, the hate, mm -hmm. you know? It's like, yeah, you really can't please everyone. Yeah, but most people are sweethearts. Very nice people. That's good. Yeah, I'm sure you get a lot of very positive yeah. messages and DMs. Yeah, man. It's just that for any artist, I feel like anything negative stands out the most, you know? It does, mm -hmm. unfortunately. Um, even mm. even for us, but it's not like... Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Definitely. We're not getting it to, like, your degree, but there's always... There's always Especially someone, TikTok, dude. man. TikTok's oh. ruthless. Dude, TikTok's insane. You'll post anything, and then some kid will be like, kill yourself. <laughs> like, <laughs> but you know they're just, like, sitting in their room, like, doing whatever, <laughs> yeah. saying that. And that's what you have to remind yourself. Yeah, man. Like, we're doing stuff in the real world. Like, exactly. They're hating from wherever in their room. They're hating house. from their mom's basement. Yeah. And they're, like, sitting, they're just, like, playing Fortnite for a living. <laughs> Not even for a living. Just <laughs> living. Not, just as a hobby. Just for fun, dude. <laughs> Literally. But I feel like that's so crazy, man. The, the um, what's it called? Hater, hater to stand pipeline. <laughs> The hater to why to can't like people preacher? just be nice? I feel like if you have something negative to say, like just don't say it. Like yeah, I don't know because if it's flipped in, 
if it's reversed and someone was saying negative to them, they wouldn't like it. Like, nobody no. likes that. Nobody no. enjoys being criticized. Most people are just projecting, dude. Yeah. I feel like that's the Something's enemy. going on in their life, and they're like, oh, let me shoot this yeah. DM or send this tweet and hurt their feelings for no reason. But I but, still, like, feel like I need to empathize. That's literally it. My first thing is, like, is, like, what are they thinking right now? And, like, why are they acting like this? I'm, like, and I'm, like, oh, they're annoyed that, that you know, someone's doing something and is, is maybe enjoying their life. And, you know, they may be, might be going through something and they're, like, why can't I do that right now? So, like, people are just, like, immediately I'm, like, okay, I get that that sucks. And you don't understand, like how to deal with that energy. So you're basically taking all your feelings and projecting it on everyone else around you that you think is doing better than you. And it's like, it's just taking so time toxic. for them. You know what yeah, I mean? It's toxic energy yeah. for sure. But it, it's like, it can be fixed, you know? It's it like, can be fixed to an extent. <laughs> yeah. It's just like, you have to understand and if you want it to be fixed. Yeah. So really. Yeah. I think people need to first realize like behavior like that. Mm. You know, like Internally. be conscious of it. Yes. Yeah. Because yeah, a lot of it is just subconscious wiring. Oh, from yeah. Years and years of habits. And then mm -hmm. once you are aware of it, you can actively work on like yeah. changing it. And Dude, everyone has their own like habits or like things that they're not even aware of until you start becoming more aware of shit that you do. And then you realize you're like, oh, this is a pattern here, you know? Like I am always, you know. I don't know. Maybe I'm always farting in public, or like, <laughs> maybe I need to stop. Maybe I, maybe I should stop that. Like yeah, sometimes yeah. you need to sit back and reflect. You know? <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? Like that example was stupid, but like, but like funny example though. But yeah, you know what I mean. Valid. Um, so, uh, two hundred million on uh, needs. Yeah. Yeah. Congrats. Big Thanks, accomplishment. guys. Thank you. How did that feel? I mean, it hit a hundred million. Yeah. Then it hit one hundred fifty, two hundred. Like, is that, like, a big deal for you, or are you just kind of just, like, all right, on to the next? I mean, yeah, man, it's a big deal. I mean, it's still crazy. It's 100 mil is still as crazy to me as, like, 200 mil. Yeah. Like, they're 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 both ridiculous to me. Um, and it's also crazy because it's not, like, something that I put out. I'm like, this is going to be the biggest hit ever. Like, I never – I was going to ask that because a lot of people, like, when they – a lot of artists, when they make a song, they're like, this is the one that's going to go. Yeah. Like, that's what Austin said mm. about the uh, yeah. Happier Than Ever cover that he did. Like, he said, he told his management team, he's like, this one's going to go. Dope. So, it, it, yeah, it's yeah. crazy if you can actually, like, feel that and, like, kind of predict it. Yeah. But I think it's also even cooler when you're just like, all right, I'm putting out a song, and then it, like, goes crazy yeah. like that. Because then you're just oh, shook. dude. It's crazy because that, that came out what 27 yeah 2017 17. 2018 or something like that. And that yeah. changes your life. It does. A song like that. Is that of that magnitude? Is that like certified gold technically? Yeah, I guess so, but like I haven't gotten a plaque or anything. Nothing well, in the mail well, yet. Not yet. Not I yet. feel like you're due for a plaque. I might I might be. I think I have to talk to like the RIAA guys or whatever they are called. Whatever the whole thing <laughs> yeah. is. With those guys with the plaques, you know. <laughs> He's just like standing. the plaque people. He's like, I just walk into this building. He's just like holding my plaque, and then he's just like, he's like, hostage. Yeah, he, yeah he's what like, did they do? Arm. Just like sit in an office and like <laughs> receive emails, like, "Hey, we need our plaque." Yeah, and then they like make it. They're like, "All right." <laughs> right there. Or no, it's already made. And he's just and he's just like he's like, "You want this?" <laughs> he's like, "When were you?" I, we were wondering when you were gonna ask. He's like, <laughs> "We were waiting." Yeah, we were waiting for years. We were gonna throw it out. <laughs> <laughs> but no, um, dude, honestly. It's crazy because I am automatically from, I'm like that guy that's like, if I'm putting out a song, I'm not the person to be like, this is the hit. I'm like, <laughs> this one's going to blow. This one's going to go crazy. <laughs> like, I'm, I'm not that guy. You know what I mean? Like, also because it's almost like self, it's like the defensive in my mind, like, I don't want to be the guy that's like, this is the best, and it's going to do amazing, and then tanks. You, you know don't want to set up, like, for high yeah, expectations. Yeah, I don't know if it's, like, then... superstition, but I get that. Because yeah. it's like, oh, once you say it's going to be the one, it, like, won't. Yeah, <laughs> it's, it's, like... exactly. Like, well, it's, it's like, even if it, even if it is, like, the, if the, the likeliness is so much, lo lo like, lower. Yeah. So, yeah, I'm always scared about that. So I don't, do, I don't ever say that. I'm never just, like, I'm never just, like, pumped about something i'm I'm pumped but i'm not gonna say it's gonna be amazing but when it does if it does it's great Dude, this bird fucking... needs to quiet down bud 
Bro. Joining the pod. I don't know like, what. Yo, Versace's here. <laughs> Yo, pull up. <laughs> no, this bird's like, I have something to say. I that have something bird was to say. at your show and was like chirping right now. Yeah. Literally. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, I saw you. I saw you. <laughs> <laughs> you weren't singing. <laughs> lip singing. <laughs> lip singing. I'm looking at your lips right now. They're not moving. They're not moving at the same time as the words. <laughs> <laughs> But, oh my God. but yeah, um, it's, it was dope, man. It, I'm really, I'm excited about needs being like doing really well. And, uh, it's something that blew up way later after I dropped it. So I could have never known. What would you say is your personal favorite song you've made? And you have a pretty sizable mm. catalog. Honestly, man, right now, probably one of the last two releases I put out are my favorite ones. Like, in terms of style and, like, what I'm into. Um, but, like, yeah, in terms of, like, vibes and shit. I also really like uh, my song I put out called Talk. I like, like, just the vibe of that shit is dope. But I honestly, I'm at, this, I'm at this position in my life right now where, like, I'm not a huge fan of my discography. I like my older shit. Like, I've progressed from it, and I'm into a lot of other things. So you're entering, like, a new era, kind of. Yeah, yeah. So I'm just, like, I'm kind of just, like, it's when people ask me that, I think about my, my discography, and I'm just, like, oh, fuck. We never really get, like, an answer from that question, honestly. Mm-hmm. Like, nobody ever yeah. has, like, a firm, like, oh, this song, for sure. Everyone just, Yeah, a lot like, of artists are similar. They're, like, yeah. once it's out, by the, or by the time it's out, I'm, like, kind of sick of it. Yeah, dude. It's also, like, if I was... There is one song, sorry to cut you no, off, no, dude, that we have been rinsing nonstop since the Wonder Worlds um, yeah? uh, festival. Oh. Ba- Basquiat? Basquiat. Oh, Basquiat. Insane. Yeah. The production. That, that shit went so crazy, crazy yeah. live. Like, With the count. I didn't yeah. know yeah. that Not song hello. until until Wonder Worlds. Yeah, dude. It's kind of a sleeper. It's it a is. Sleeper. It is a sleeper. I feel like and that song goes so, so well live, so dude. Hard, yeah. It's like my mosh pit song, you know? Like, yeah. that's the song that it works. <laughs> dude, the fucking, I, I, I don't know, I didn't really notice this until Wonderworld when, like, other artists told me, but, like, when I asked for a mosh pit, like, I'm polite about it, like, for some reason, <laughs> like, I'm like, I'm not like, let's make a motherfucking mosh pit, like, I'm not like yeah. that, <laughs> I'm like, can we please, like, make a mosh pit, guys, <laughs> <laughs> guys, can we please make a mosh pit in the center, thank you, thank you. <laughs> like, that's how I feel like I Mosh do. pit etiquette 101. Yeah. Yeah, because yeah, yeah. usually people are Some not people aggressive. are like, all right, this side. Yeah, all yeah, over yeah. There. This side, all the way over there. Yeah. When it drops. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, like, dude, dude I'm going to die. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, that's the one seconds. I'm not trying to be involved Everyone in. will die. No, I really think Versace's got to do the... The, the wife beater rip in the back foot by <laughs> Julio. <laughs> Julio vibes. <laughs> Catch everyone off guard. Dude. I need to get that down, honestly. <laughs> I need to. If you could hit a backflip. If I get a backflip, I think I'm going to go up like at least 2 million monthly more <laughs> on Spotify. Have you s- at staged least. dove dived? No, I haven't. No? Never. That's a risky I, thing. You got to so get scared. everyone on board. Like, make, right. sure, <laughs> make sure the sure crowd's like. Thing. Compact. Yeah. Okay, guys, I'm gonna jump. Okay, uh, guys, I'm gonna jump. Um, Please guys. don't let me fall. All right, guys, are you ready for me? <laughs> are you guys ready for me now? All right, right, right. You guys want my measurements? Uh, <laughs> oh my you guys want um? Okay, okay. Uh, kilograms or pounds? <laughs> <laughs> Dude, honestly, that's how my brain goes with that shit. I'd be like, uh, am I in Europe? Guys- uh, all right, kilograms. <laughs> can you guys like handle this? <laughs> all right, for sure. No, I couldn't do it, man. I'm so scared right now. Eventually. It seems like it'd be fun, but I it, don't know. Everyone's just be. like grabbing you. And- yeah, I mean, like, I'm like a very big fan of personal space. <laughs> I feel that. Are yeah. you a big, like, do you love doing live shows? Yeah, I do like it a lot. Now I do. I didn't like it at the beginning. Were you super nervous? Yeah. So scary, man. I could I- imagine. For sure. When yeah. you're starting off and. Oh, yeah. Also, because I was just like. I'm- Young, too. Mm-hmm. Also, like, introverted. Like, I used to be way more introverted. I'm not as much anymore, but, um, so yeah, it was probably, the, like, the biggest thing I'd ever done for myself is to, like, play a live show. It's, like, the scariest thing I've ever done in my entire life. <laughs> like, because the first show I ever played, um, like, with vocals and whatnot, that was probably 2019, 
and that was to a show that was a show in Buffalo um to like over a thousand people wow um were you opening yeah what did you open for surfaces dude no actually or, uh i know you did, did it was you young something? the giant oh wow. oh wow young the giant yeah at this uh, buffalo like college show shit yeah in front of a ton of college students yeah yeah dude it was terrifying but, but once you're done you're just like all right bet. i've entirely blacked out the entire time yeah i don't remember anything a lot of people say that like yeah. that was the first show i was just like i don't remember i it was also scary because in i was in the back of like in the green room or whatnot and i'm sitting there and then uh they're like out of nowhere they're just like uh yeah actually so the, the schedule changed you're on in five minutes and I was supposed to be in 30 minutes. Oh. So oh, sometimes that's better though, because then you don't have like yeah, you don't more time to it. overthink it. You're just like, all right, fuck it. Like, I gotta go. Dude, I nearly, I actually thought I was gonna shit myself. <laughs> like, genuinely. <laughs> Do you rip like a shot before? Or uh, no, no, no. I actually. <laughs> shit went to the bathroom first <laughs> that's what i do <laughs> i have like a pre-show ritual with the bathroom <laughs> this might be tmi but uh we've thrown a you know a handful of shows ourselves and like almost every artist takes a dump oh yeah entirely show. dude it's kind of funny it scares you it's the nerves yeah. a little bit for it's, sure it shares you scares you shitless literally and it for some like it doesn't really go away sometimes no. the more you do them like it just it's no, always dude. that way but honestly like I found that like I'm pretty confident that it'll that I'll be fine, you know. Like I think it would I think it would go away after a certain amount of time. Some people, I mean, you'll I, you'll nah, still have yeah, singer nerves. artists that you'll still, still have some just nerves. As nervous, yeah. But I feel if if you did like a huge tour and oh yeah, yeah. imagine it goes it's like riding well, a bike, probably. Yeah, I feel like, yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. Well, there's like I heard what was it, um, Barbara Streisand or something? I don't know. There's some artist that. Every show she pukes. Yeah. Before the show. It might have been so. the same thing I saw because it was someone big. And yeah. they were like, no, we're still just as nervous like every show. <laughs> yeah. Which was a little it surprising. It depends on the person. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, man. But for me, it's I like. I would probably be that type of person. Yeah. It's not yeah. like abnormal. It's because. Well, I guess it's because after a certain amount of times, like you realize, especially if you have a fan base, regardless, like the audience is always going to be nice like unless it's like four people it's awkward you know like well, you yeah, just have to show. kind of be there and be yeah. like these people are here they're to see me yeah exactly yeah. like i could literally and that should make you feel good inside like yeah make you feel comfortable definitely man i felt like when nowadays when i'm on stage i feel like uh i could literally be like you know throat singing or something and nobody would care like people would be like that's sick oh, that's <laughs> sick now that's dope <laughs> like, like that's not that hasn't been done. No one's done that before. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like I don't know, have man. You, have you tried any like comedic talking when you're on stage? Yeah, it hasn't gone great, dude. It's no. not gone great. Um, there was this one time. Oh my god, dude. Uh, my headline show in like 2021 in Washington. I was standing there and I was like, I sh I like had to kill time just by talking, I guess, to like in between the sets. Uh, in between songs and I was like so um so like what's coming up at time soon I'm like it's October I'm like it's almost Halloween I'm like so like well um what's Halloween like in DC ah I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> Just so like, like what's, what's Halloween like it in, in, in Washington huh you guys like it and, then, <laughs> and, then, and then once like there's like two people like yeah <laughs> yeah and then I'm like I'm like can we get, get some noise for Halloween in Washington yeah <laughs> And I think the people were just like, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, <laughs> yeah. And then I was like, fuck. And I'm like, well, I guess I'll come. I guess I'll come back to Washington for Halloween. <laughs> just like, and everyone's like, right. yeah. And I did not. <laughs> I did not. Did not pull. Did back not up. go back. No, I don't think I, I. That would be insane. Oh yeah, I'm going. I'm going. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's, it's, oh my god, it's October 31st. I have to go to Washington for Halloween. <laughs> I made a promise. I made a promise. <laughs> yeah, good luck finding like any of the same people, too. Yeah, no, dude, <laughs> like, it was terrible. And then uh, and then I had this pattern after where I started saying it at other shows. I'm like, I'm, one of my, I'm, like, I'm like, at my last show, I asked them if, they, if Halloween was cool in Washington. I'm like, how awkward is that? 
<laughs> and people were like, so people, and then, and that was even more awkward. <laughs> like people in the awkward. The, he doubled down. Yeah. And like, people ah. in the crowd are like, <laughs> yeah, it's pretty funny. <laughs> so that sucks. Yeah. But, um, but yeah, honestly, overall, it's been good. Like, I feel like I can save literally anything and it'll, it'll work. I'm just, I, I had this air horn in my set at one point. And I, uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was a bad yeah. idea. It was such a bad idea. No one laughed. No one. When did you do it? Like after my, it had it, <laughs> I had it programmed. I had a program to come in like right after one of my songs. So like, <laughs> but there was, it was on, it comes in like at a random time, like two or three seconds after the, like the song. So you're trying to time it. Yeah. Before. And it's literally just like the song ends. And then it's like, damn, son, what song was that? And then, <laughs> and then it goes, wah, wah, wah. and then no, and then the crowd is just like talking to each other. Like nobody says anything. And I'm, and I'm every time I was like, damn, I need to take that out. <laughs> <laughs> I need to take that out of the fucking set, man. Damn. Yeah. So that was a fail. Um, but I got those out. So that's not, it's been, I've had some bad experiences. Um, they could be worse. Well, you were great at Wonder World Fest. Thanks, so. thanks. I appreciate. You it. had it all polished there. <laughs> <laughs> Each set was like what, ten minutes? Tw- no, I feel like yours was twenty-ish. Twenty minutes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was trying to remember, but yeah, that was dope, man. That was a fun. That was a really fun time at Wonder World. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was sick. Also, oh my God, I just remembered when Eric went on the fucking deck, or like the yeah like DOA went on the yeah. Was it like was that the deck or it was like, like the, it was like a top like a top floor? Or something? Yeah. That was crazy. That yeah, was crazy. that was dope. And Jalea was like, oh my doing God. a shrug with him. That's insane. <laughs> that was crazy. <laughs> Nuts. <laughs> did you guys? What did you guys do after the Wonderworld Fest? Did you guys head back um, to LA or what was the vibes? I uh, I went to. I think the last show was in Boston, and I stayed there for a couple of days. Mm-hmm. Cause I had some friends from school that lived there nice. and then he went home and then it was like Thanksgiving time by then. Right. You guys, have I got late. COVID from, from wonder worlds. No, I think it was from Jaleel, honestly. Cause <gasps> no. he was sick. You remember he was sick? No, dude. He was sick. At yeah. One we of the did shows. an interview with him, the Boston show and, and he, he was, was like sick. down bad. Yeah, dude, but I got at... COVID from wonder world too. That's crazy. That, so it makes, makes a lot, it makes a lot of sense then. Yeah, it was going around. How'd you feel on like I was I, I was I, I was dead. I like was I was actually dead. dead yeah, <laughs> I was. I did you get like body aches and shit? Yeah, I think my so. whole body was like it I was lost crazy. my taste and smell. Yeah, mine was mine was crazy. Yeah, mine dude, was that was really fucked up. Honestly, like <laughs> so Jaleel spread it or someone did. Someone I don't know did. who. I don't well, know someone who. probably gave it to Jaleel. Yeah, someone. Too. Someone. Did. I'm not gonna lie, guys. I think I was sick, but and when we did our interview, <laughs> oh, God. somehow Maybe and I was you. the one like interviewing, yeah. like right next to all the artists, yeah, and really I didn't good, get sick. Good white blood cells. Yeah, I got a bad immune system, so it makes yeah, sense. same dude. My immune system is just immune. <laughs> no M. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> just straight immune. up, it's just immune. I have immune system. Immune system. <laughs> My system is fully immune. <laughs> but yeah. Um, <clears throat> Yeah, that was good time minus the COVID. Yeah, yeah, that was not that a was good not end. a vibe. I was just like I could sleep for days. The yeah. Philly one was dope for me because I just we got to stay at my house. I got right. to see my yeah, family. That was right. nice. And then we went Dude, to Boston. I was so glad I got to play like the Philly show because um, it's a dope venue. But dude, I I didn't get to play Philly before because I was supposed to play Philly with Surfaces, but I got sick. I got laryngitis. Um, I feel like you've had laryngitis. Yeah. <laughs> the mean, I feel like you've had laryngitis <laughs> before. Like. I have. I have. That was the first time I had it, though. Okay. That was the very first time. And, uh, yeah, it sucked. Yeah, it sucked. that's unfortunate. I thought I had laryngitis this time around, but I didn't. I just, oh, that's was, what you were saying. Yeah, oh, I thought, like, yeah, I yeah. thought it was. I yeah, thought yeah. it was, but it was just like, the flu. Boys, I got laryngitis. Because yeah, my voice was have to push. postpone. <laughs> my voice was just like... <laughs> I sound like, oh, yeah, yeah guys. like you smoking cigs, <laughs> pack yeah. of cigs a day. Have you guys seen Mission Impossible? All of them? I don't think all of them. There's this character so. in, uh, like, this bad guy in one of the last ones who literally speaks like, oh, I didn't know that. 
And that's how I sounded like. <laughs> I was like, oh, my God, guys. Oh, I have, I have the flu. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I sounded like for days. And I was like, I can't speak or I cannot be heard like this. Yeah. No, you know? I feel that. I but, feel like you're good with these uh, voice impressions. Yeah, dude. Any other good ones you got in the vault? Uh, <laughs> you definitely have vault. a good one. Uh, I know. I've lately I've been doing like, <laughs> like I haven't doing. I can't. I don't know why this one. I think we, we were playing uh, Mario Party last night. Me, and my manager, and his girlfriend, and um, I'd never played it before. And some of the voices in that game were insane, dude. <laughs> insane. Like I'm like, how is this approved? How is this approved? Like, and some of the players, like some of the characters, I'm like, you look like you sound like, oh my god, like, like, <laughs> like, like, oh, nice, like Versace, nice to see you again. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that's like a, de- uh, wait, that sounds like goofy. Yeah, type of shit. For yeah, sure. the yeah. Uh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's on so point. to switch the subject. You just dropped uh, EP on Zach Ferracci. Yeah. A, B, C, yep. D, E, F. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Where's G at? Oh, dude. There, you know, that's actually, there's actually, um, it's actually interesting is that there's a folder that's actually A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I. Is that the deluxe version? <laughs> no, no, no. I'm not dropping those. Those, like, A, B, C, D, E, F are the songs that I like the most. Out of that um, batch, that batch, yeah. So, um, basically, what happened was that my manager has um, had this folder. I sent him in 2017, and this was before he was like managing me. Like we officially were, he wasn't managing me then. So, I was just showing him songs, but he had it on his phone. And you know how, like, when you get in your car and you plug your phone in, sometimes it plays. The first song. The first and, song, mm-hmm. alphabetically. A A A was always playing first on his, on his, his car. Phone, yeah. In his car. And one day, he just let it play. And he's like, wait a second. He's like, I remember this. And, and basically, it's a folder all from 2017. Like, all these songs. Just, like, demos uh, that I made in 2017. And they were originally, like, going to be for my official, like, project. You know, like, my Versace. But I never dropped any of them or worked on them. Uh, like anymore and he was like dude let's just like we should put this out like put some of these out and i was like oh my god (laughs) (laughs) i looked through them and like i hate some of them dude i really do like i can't it's just like looking back at your old work you know it's like reading an essay you wrote when you were 12 yeah like yeah yeah. it's like like, and then i walked the dog and i went to school and then i had fun i did a couple (laughs) skips like i don't know like that's how it felt like i'm like i'm what i'm listening to but other people are, are like have other you know feelings towards it i feel like there's a lot of people who really fucked with it and i was like i'm like some old og fans would really fuck with this so i threw it out um i didn't throw it <laughs> i threw it up on yeah. the on spotify Tossed you know what it i mean yeah. toss it up yeah, and uh it. and yeah i just uh the photo for it is like the artwork is a photo of the chair that i'm sitting on uh, in my profile picture for that, the Zach Farosh page. So the page is just me sitting on a chair and there's an artwork in the back. And I had a photo I found on my computer uh, from that same room, from a different angle, with a ukulele on that chair. So I was like, wow, it was meant to be. Yeah, I was like, I'm like, this is such a perfect shot. And ironically, not ironically, but just so happens, that sh- shot was when I made um the song all i need mm, i made it sitting there at all at right from that location because i set up my my parents were out of town and i just set up my uh computer and shit there and this was probably like 2019 2018 so yeah just good vibrations all all around yeah man yeah, like going back in time yeah. a little bit definitely dude it was a, it was a trip for sure <laughs> But yeah, I was glad that we put that up because I think um, I think it's good for the OG fans. For yeah. Sure. Well, yeah, we we have a friend um, that I remember talking to her and she said, like she loved Zach Ferracci project. Yeah. And we're yeah. like, do you know like his project Versace? And she yeah. didn't even know about that one. Interesting. Which is interesting. 
That is interesting. That's kind of so wild. She must have yeah. probably found you on SoundCloud back in the day or Maybe. something. Maybe. Or even just Spotify. Or Spotify, yeah. Dude, this is so weird, but in, uh, in 2019, I was... I came to LA for the first time and um, I went to the mall with my manager. We were just like shopping and whatnot. And these little girls, these, like 14 year old girls, like three of them came up to me and they're like, are you Zach Farage? And I was like, what? I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> I was like, what is this? And then they took, they wanted to take photos. And that was the first time I ever like met fans in, in a diff life, like yeah. in real life in a different country. That's crazy. Wow. And and for an artist project that isn't even my main project. Like that's my real name, you know what I mean? Like <laughs> I butchered yeah. your last name, I bet. I did. No, too. no, you guys are good. Farash is how no, you say it? Farachi is my excuse for if I get sued. But like <laughs> <laughs> but Farash, Farash. Is, my, is how it's pronounced, yeah. What is that? Like French? It's yeah. French and um Yeah, I think it's just French and British maybe. That's Dope. sick. Yeah. But that's uh That's crazy though. But yeah, man, it was insane. 14-year-old 14, 14 girls. Yeah. So yeah. And then I, I uh, and then we sat to eat dinner or like lunch or something. Like it was in this mall and we sat to eat, eat lunch right by where that, where these girls recognized me. And then this table, this like family was like, hi, we have to ask, who are you? Because <laughs> usually when like other people yeah, take like, pictures, oh, they're like, yeah, must oh, be who is this person? Yeah, who is this person, yeah. right? And I'm like, oh, um, yeah, I'm Versace, and I'll, uh, I'll make music. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and then, uh, and they're like, very cool, very cool. And then I got a message. <laughs> <laughs> I got a message from, like, this girl, uh, one of, like, these girls sitting with the family. It was a family. And, like, oh, I, saw, I just checked out your music. I know your songs. So sick. And then, so this was in 2019. This person followed up, like, uh, probably two, three months ago. And be like, Hey, it's me from that time I saw you at the at the Whoa. mall, and be like, I still I like your music or whatever, like stuff like that. And I was like, yeah. what? Hopefully Something they'll listen to the podcast. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> little, shout, little shout out. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's we'll have to clip it up. That's crazy. Them. That's cool. Yeah, dude, it was trippy. It was really trippy, um, but it's cool seeing stuff like that happen. It's very surreal. The the story we actually would love to bring up again was uh, how the whole song with. Uh, like day before yeah. that whole story, if you don't mind sharing that again. Yeah, dude. How that came about. Dude, that was just like, that was trippy. Like in Boston, um, I was on my, that was my headline tour. And we were, we were just like sitting in the, in the, in like this Airbnb and just chilling. And then I saw like Young Thug dropped uh, a project. And I look and I see on the, the bottom, I see like a Mac, Mac Miller song. And, like, at this point, he's already, like, not in the picture. Like, he passed away. So I was like, oh, wow. Like, uh, like you know, posthumous. Is that what it is? Posthumous? Po posthumous. Posthumous. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and I was like, <laughs> uh, <laughs> I've never known how to say it either. So, so I was like, I was like, holy shit, right? Um, but also because, like, a year or two prior, I remember seeing, uh, like, this whole thing. Like, I thought it was, f like, fake basically because this producer was posting videos or like leak song of uh mac miller and young thug and people were dming me being like this sounds like you this sounds like you and at the time i was like there's no way this is real this is so fake this is so fake like this is just like not a real recording and um i just forgot about it but then when i saw this this thing on boston like in boston i was looking at my phone and i saw that, that they dropped this song on this project, I was like, I have to listen. I'm like, what are the odds, right? And it was it. I'm like, this is my song. I'm like, what? I'm like, holy balls. <laughs> <laughs> and I look at the credits, and I'm not credited. And I was like, what is going on? I'm like, this is crazy. I told my manager. My manager is a huge, huge Mac Miller fan. Like, next level Mac Miller fan. Like, we were in, um, we were in uh, Pennsylvania. Hey. And we he, we went to the Blue Slide Park. Oh, in Pittsburgh. In Pittsburgh, yeah. That's sick. Yeah, he made us go there at, at nighttime. <laughs> <laughs> and I was we like, gotta go. Yeah, and I was like, wow, this is. Super is it a cool sick. park? I've never been. It, I mean, it was nighttime, and it in my mind, not nothing really amazing. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was like, man, super sick. I'm like, <laughs> was there a blue slider? Yeah, what? there was. Okay. Yeah, super sick, man. Brad, my, 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 my manager, Brad's like, wow. Like, this is this dope. is crazy. I'm just like, mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm like flipping a coin. I'm like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's more the idea like, oh, Mac used to like pull yeah, up here. You know? Exactly. So that was pretty crazy. But, um, but yeah. So basically I told him he got in touch with uh, the team. They found out it was a Young Thug song, um, like released under his project. And uh, <laughs> it took them two years to uh, pay me. Uh, actually that's crazy but um but basically what they said was that uh mac basically they sampled they found the song they sampled it and they were going to put drums on it uh the producer was going to put drums on it but they never did they just recorded like vocals and it never happened uh so yeah, that's pretty crazy. I watched a uh, Young Thug interview, and he claimed that they made that song literally a day before he passed away. Yeah, I saw that, but I I also heard that that was kind of cap. I don't know. Some of the comments were like, "Oh, he's just saying that." But yeah, I, I mean to know. say it is pretty like profound. Like people would. I mean, it kind of makes sense for the song title. Yeah, it does. Yeah. It does. You're right. Who knows? And they added uh, like a whale noise. Yeah, they did. And the original. What What was the original song? It was called Charlie Brown. Charlie Brown, right? Yeah, but the thing that's crazy, is I think uh, Trippy Red was on it originally too. He was, yeah. And they, and ended they took up off his taking verse. his verse off. Sliced him. Yeah. Yeah. But it's crazy because like. I just remember seeing this video of this guy on Instagram Live. This this guy saying like, "I made this song. I made this song." And he's like playing it and it's like it's a uh, the the song and then he realizes that he's he thought he was on his like private Instagram, but he was on his public. And then everyone's like, "Bro, this is your public." And he's like, "Oh shit." <laughs> <laughs> and he turns it off and that's how it was leaked first. So I was just like, "Holy shit, man. This is that the producer cool. that like put it together, like I think it was the, actually the producer that that, that recorded sampled the, you. No, this guy wasn't even. Oh. Uh, he was actually uh, the engineer, I think. Okay. That did the vocals. Mm. And uh, I remember DMing him, bro. I don't know if I should name drop him, but um, I remember DMing him, and I'm like, bro, like, is that real? Like, is that coming out? He's like, if it if it comes out, bro, they reach out to you, man. They're gonna reach out to you. They'll credit you, man. Don't even stress it. <laughs> and then <laughs> nothing. good vibes. Yeah, yeah good yeah. vibes. Yeah, but honestly, I was like, I was like DMing him. I'm like, bro, you're saying that you made this. He's like, tell your fans to stop coming after me. <laughs> he was like, that's was dope. They came out. Yeah, because I was honestly. posting on my story. I was like, I made this. This is my song. <laughs> I'm like, they thought this was me. And then, um, but anyways. That, I ended up, ended up forgetting about it because I was like, there's no way that's real or whatever. But it was it real. Happened. So sick. Yeah, dude. It's crazy how that happens. Um, it's also shitty that like it had, it had to be like me having to find it already yeah. out. Yeah. You know what I mean? And not be like, they didn't reach Told out to before, me. Told before, yeah. Like you would, you would think that in the industry, like in a professional industry, they would Especially like. Especially of an artist their size with oh, a, yeah. a team and you yeah. Know, yeah. label. Like. That's why I'm thinking I'm like, kind of what are they doing over yeah. there? I don't know. We like, gotta talk about this though, like being an independent artist. Yeah, man. Which you've been an independent artist my your whole, whole career, life, whole life, my whole damn life, <laughs> my whole damn life being independent. <laughs> <laughs> no, but how's it been as an independent artist? Yeah, why do you continue to stay independent? Because I want to uh, own my masters. Um, I'm very scared to give them away, you know. I uh, I'm down to do like ex- like deals where it's like um, what's the word? Like a lease. Yeah, exactly. Like I can get my master's back. Like I'm down to do that type of stuff, but um, I I don't want to lose that. I feel like it's such it's my, and also like I am like mainly a hundred percent like doing most of it myself. So I get a pretty high percentage, usually all of it. Um, so it's just like a lot more, uh, it makes a lot more sense for me to do that. But the things with that labels have are like great services, great, like marketing, great, you know, all of the above, (laughs) you know, everything. So there's lots of pros for sure. But I think that, um, 
I haven't reached a point where I'm confident to do that, to like work with a label like that. Um, I feel very like isolated and like I would make the decision and regret it is how yeah. I feel right now. But for some artists, dude, I feel like, oh, makes total sense. I think it just depends on the type of artist. Yeah, and entirely. And definitely done just fine as an independent artist. And yeah, I man. think, you know, with because you can still have a team without having a label like you have yeah, a management team exactly booking yep. agent booking agent if you have like lawyer like all these other things that you can have and those people can contribute a lot to your project so definitely do um yeah i, I mean you're seeing less and less people signing label deals and doing more distribution yeah and stuff like that and owning more i think it's very important to own your masters and with uh social media like you can kind of blow up stuff on your own like you don't necessarily need it's true like a marketing team and people out because all they're really gonna do from what we've heard is be like hey push you know push on tiktok yeah push on reels push on shorts which is all stuff like kind of everyone knows at this point but there are obviously pros to it um it just depends what you're looking for 100 percent, dude i think there's some artists that are just like um, like, yeah, you're making a lot more money with a label than if you were independent. Like, it makes sense for you. You know what I mean? If you're looking for, like, like a short-term bag. Yeah, it depends, too. Yeah. Because I feel like, um, you know, just based off your monthlies, Yeah. I feel like you're already doing very self-sustainable. Yeah. And especially that you're doing it all yourself, pretty much. Yeah, you're keeping a large percent. Like For sure. You know, you can fund your own marketing and... You yeah, know, pretty much everything. The music videos have been fire. Like, yeah, yeah, all, all great of that music stuff. videos. Yeah, dude, shout out to uh, Danny. Oh my god, wait, you guys are gonna cut this out, right? <laughs> um, <laughs> Probably not. Just Danny. Danny Farber. Farber. Shout, out, shout out Danny shout Farber. Out Danny Farber. <laughs> Don't include that stutter. <laughs> 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 but um, but no, he's dope. Um, uh, what's it called? He's just been dope. Like, he makes really great videos. Um, but it's also expensive, man, to do, like, videos. It's very expensive. Yeah. And, and it's, like, I'm doing it from my budget. Um, it's my money. And, I mean, it's it's the same thing with someone's alarms going off. Oh, yeah, you're right. It's, like, four different sounds. Yeah, dude. It's pretty impressive, actually. <laughs> <laughs> like, wow. It'll go off soon enough. They got, like, a sound box. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Plays twenty different alarms. Oh, she's just doing one. a podcast. Let's let's, uh, let's just be really let's make loud. it a little bit noisy. <laughs> no, they're actually like choosing their new ringtone for the phone. <laughs> He's like, yeah, that's pretty dope. <laughs> like, dude, someone's calling. You, they're they're picking their alarm to wake up to. <laughs> yeah, they're choosing their morning alarm. That I, kill me. I think music videos are interesting though, especially yeah. as an independent artist because they're not very recoupable. At I mean, all, really, at all. I'm the on the way into it because we manage an artist as well, and we have a management company. Dope, dope. Like, there was a point where we were like, we have to release the music video like same day as dropping the song. But for me now, I think it's more beneficial to release the song, maybe do something light like a lyric video, something yeah. lower budget, and then if the song's doing really well and your fans are asking for. A visual, yeah. Then do that, but like Definitely. you don't necessarily need to be like, "Yo, I gotta drop a a music video." Saying it's great to do that, but like 100%. as an independent artist, which the artist we manage is independent too. Like it, it is expensive, takes a lot of time. Like, um, for instance, like he wants to do them not all in L.A. Like the lot the mm. song we're about to release, like he made in Georgia, so we want to maybe do it there. And, like, you'd have to fly everyone. It's expensive. Yeah. It's expensive dude. to do, especially yeah. when you're funding it all yourself. Dude. So. For real, dude. And it's, like. And it's not recoupable pretty much. At, I mean, unless you're getting, like, a million plays on YouTube. Yeah, YouTube like, doesn't. Oh, yeah. It's crazy. Like. Dude, that's the worst part is it's hard to get, like, that YouTube presence uh, for me, at least. That's what I'm struggling with. And, like, I feel like um, with music videos, like, I've had videos that I made that I didn't even put out because it didn't work out for us. Like the most recent one that didn't work out for me was, uh, what was it? Oh yeah. So we made this music video 
and the concept was sick. But to be honest, it was entirely my fault. The reason that it, it was ruined was because I had to learn the song backwards. Wow. <laughs> I had to learn the song backwards. And, um, and like basically we were filming everything frontwards and I would just have to be singing it backwards. And then after that, what they do is that they, they reverse, reverse the video. Mm. So it looks like I'm doing shit backwards, but singing normally. And that's pretty that's wild. crazy. Yeah, that's a crazy concept. And the video actually looks amazing. The video looks amazing, but I look like an idiot because it doesn't make, it looks, it looks stupid because my lips not quite matching. Doesn't make sense. No. Wait, were you saying the word backwards or yes. just the order? Oh, yeah. I was That's singing kinda... backwards, dude. So did you reverse it in like Ableton or something to yeah, try and learn just, it? Yes, exactly. Yeah, that's crazy. Ready? You want me to practice? Yeah. <laughs> 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 the gun, the hops are bomb. <laughs> that's all I remember. That's that sounds remember. like a whole nother language. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude. It's pretty crazy. <laughs> How many you were just listening to that over Oh the, yeah, dude. Yeah. I, I was practicing. It's a headache. <laughs> you should start talking to people. Like, yeah, 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 in reverse. A hundred percent. Yeah, imagine that dude. <gasps> but no, I that's um crazy. I I didn't master the pronunciation. So I kind of took an L on that. But sick idea. Yeah, it was a I feel really like I've sick seen idea. that maybe before. Yeah. And if everyone like, nailed it, have. the creative direction was so sick and everything. <clears throat> so like part of me still wants to put the video out. But like, oh it might still be worth it. Yeah, but I mean I might have to get some. What of song is that for? Uh Caffeine, it was called. Ooh, Ooh caffeine, caffeine was fire. Caffeine's great. Thanks, guys. Yeah, dude. I was I, I would have to pay someone to CGI my lips. <laughs> <laughs> I was based on the CGI on my lips to look right. It was that off, you think? Oh, dude. There was parts that kind of worked, but most of it didn't. I can show man, you guys the video after if you want to yeah, see it. Yeah, I'd love to see it. it. <laughs> but yeah, man, it was, it was a mess, you could say. I guess with all the different areas you produce, you write, mm -hmm. sing, do you have like a favorite? To do? Yeah. Or it's I all think just one? That's a good question, but to be honest, I think that the thing that I have the most natural ability to do and, like, doesn't really stress me out is the production side of things. Um, like, I know I can make dope shit. Like, like, I'm not the type of guy to be like, oh, I'm so sick. I love my stuff. I'm a beast. Like, <laughs> <laughs> like I'm not, like, I'm not, I'm not that guy, but, like... When it comes to, like, production, I'm, like, pretty confident in my ability to produce. Um, I don't think I'm the best ever, but I like, I love doing it, and I find it very, like, intuitive. Um, that's not something that I really struggle with, I feel, you know? Does production normally come first when yeah. making a song? Yeah, definitely. No, your, your production's goaded, like, for Thanks, real. man. I have, I have a lot of fun with it, honestly. And, like, the thing that I'm, I want to work on the most right now is the songwriting. And that's something I've been working with uh, writers, trying to like strengthen that muscle for sure. Because uh, that's the thing that I struggle with the most by far out of every uh, everything else, you know? Melodies and stuff, I'm good at. I feel okay. But uh, I feel like a little baby when it comes to like songwriting, you know? <laughs> <laughs> so there's that. Yeah, no, that makes sense. I mean, that's like probably the most vulnerable part of it. Oh, yeah. What story am I trying to tell? How Definitely. am I trying to tell it? But hearing what you're saying, like the melodies for singing, you can like bring them out of the production. Yeah. Yeah. They kind of go hand in hand. So. Hey, guys. Sorry about the, the camera. Uh, <laughs> the camera overheated and exploded. So we had to get a new one. <laughs> Shout out Sony for supplying. And... Uh, yeah, I'll leave it to you guys. <laughs> yeah, hopefully it didn't cut off mid mid talking, but yeah, definitely probably did. did. I totally forgot what you were talking about. Yeah, yeah, I'll have to figure it out. Hopefully it doesn't cut off. <laughs> <laughs> but um, yeah. Uh, what are we talking about? We were talking about music, producing, producing music, sing and how I am 
Uh, the sickest producer. I'm the sick. Pretty much. <laughs> I'm pretty much the best ever to do it. <laughs> no. Don't you taking that out, please. <laughs> <laughs> but um but no, I uh I was saying how I want to do more songwriting and I'm like trying to oh, yeah. trying to do more of that shit. Um and yeah, that's like basically what I've been been focusing on more. Especially for this new music that's coming. That's the like I'm I'm still trying to make like producery shit like a little bit of producer porn if i if you will you know what i mean like like still All crazy candy yeah. stuff you know I mean? yeah um, are we getting uh yeah, singles or projects project singles right now singles but i'm working on a project let's go oh yeah let's do you excited. think that's gonna come out this year next year i hope so I hope Th- for this year. year yeah yeah that'd be sick we could use some always use some new versace music i'm trying to put out more more and more stuff this year like well yeah you dropped like two, two singles, singles already right within yeah. like a month of yeah each other. yeah that was the that's the vibe you know what i mean i'm trying to like Keep over the momentum going overwhelm overwhelm <laughs> not um, a bad you know the vibes yeah not a bad vibe that's that's the way it's <laughs> the way to do it in 2023 mm-hmm. yeah it's a single we're pushing to the top this year you pushing to our name it corby blue <laughs> corbin blue <laughs> Remember that guy? Yeah, <laughs> from Legends High, High School, School Musical, yeah, School. and jump and uh, going jump vertical. In. <laughs> you remember that? Song? What? I think you just made that one. Dude. <laughs> no, no, look it up. It's going I think it's vertical? called Vertical, maybe. Dude, that was one he sang in. But uh, I love High School Musical. I, I mean, originals. We should. If watch someone it says tonight. they don't like it, like they're, they're, they're trying to be too cool. They are. I actually saw uh, High School Musical three in theaters. Uh, it was packed, packed to the brim. In theaters, wow! <laughs> yeah. To the brim Dude, on it, opening night. On opening night, insane, insane turnout. Um, what was the demographic of that? I can't remember, man. It was a fucking blur. Um, <laughs> it was like you were high on life. Just. Yeah, dude. I actually, it was so packed that I didn't even get like a good seat. Like I actually had to get. Were you up in the front? I, I was. Vi- yes. Ah, oh, that's the worst. I was in the front, not not even in the center. I was at the right, the left corner, the the far left corner. So I was so like, you're like, oh, you're ne- <laughs> you're ne- oh God, next to Ukraine. I'm so like, no, so. Troy, <laughs> Gabriela, come back. <laughs> that was literally how it felt. Is that the one they're on the golf course and like? I can't remember, but it was the cooler one. Three three is always sick. You know what I mean? That was the last one. Uh no, it wasn't. I don't think they did, they did a four. There was more, dude. Do you remember that one song that was like, who whip a son of a who shoo whip a dub a dub a dub a dub? this one song that was like, this one song that was like a crazy song, and it was Sharpay, and uh, which actually Tisdale. And I just remember, we're sorry. I'm That's the first one, I think. And That's the OG. Fine. Also, that one's catchy. I'm not gonna lie. Do you guys remember Zeke, the character Zeke? There's a character named Zeke in High School Musical. I'm Rusty, I'm Sounds right. accurate. And he <laughs> makes, <Yeah>. Zeke. <laughs> and he makes really good creme brulee, I think. I think oh yeah, was. I do remember the creme brulee. Yeah, 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 yeah. Anyways, um, sick. Shut I up. would be <laughs> Troy Bolt. I'd be Troy Bolton in uh, High School Musical. Accurate. Main um, character. Yeah. Main character vibes. It's giving. It's giving main character. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's so funny when people say that. Yeah. It's giving. It's giving. <laughs> On that note, <laughs> I did want to just like dive into your background kind of briefly. Just yeah. like how you got into music, like growing up in Toronto, mm. all that. Um, well, I was always like um, that kid that was like, oh, my thing is going to be drums or guitar. They're both sick, but I can't choose. Um, <laughs> that was like my thing for I was growing up. Like, you know what I mean? Like where it's like, oh, you have to choose your icon for something. And it's like, there's a bunch of different instruments or something. I'm like, I'm a drums guy or I'm a guitar guy. <laughs> and, um, yeah. So piano lessons didn't go great. I was like, piano sucks. Um, and then I ended up doing guitar. So did I, your parents play instruments? No. No, they no? Didn't. My mom actually, she knows how to play piano, but that's it. Like what inclined you to like start playing instruments? You um, just wanted to? Yeah, maybe School of Rock, maybe. I watched a lot. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, that was pretty influential, to be honest. There was that. Um, 
yeah, I just, from when I was young, I just thought, I was like, I really want to play guitar. And then I started doing, like, I went to band camp and shit. And, and I was, like, a guitarist. I remember I found a video of me, like, stage gliding, like, power gliding on, the, on like, to do a, a solo. And it was so bad. It was a video of me, like, I'm like, <laughs> do you still have yeah, that? Do you have that? Yeah, I do. We're gonna need that. Yeah, yeah I'll find the video. <laughs> I found it like a couple of years ago, actually. This is crazy, actually. This guy I know, this other producer I know, his name is Maxo, and he was in my fucking band in band camp. And I didn't know that until later. I found this video and I'm like, that's him. And I showed him and he's like, What? He's like, I was your drummer? Whoa. Yeah, and he was this guy I just met later in life. Mm. And I realized, I'm like, wait, this guy is like, I've known him. <laughs> the universe brought y'all together. Right? Yeah, How crazy. crazy. But anyways, yeah, so I did band camp and stuff. And then I went uh, I went to um, lessons for guitar. And I was for like pff, nine years or something like that. And uh, just learning like cover songs, learning different things. I'm not like classically trained in music or anything. I don't really know note stuff. I'm kind of figuring that stuff out now, but, uh, but yeah, so that's how I got into like instruments and, uh, I didn't get into, um, using my like guitar in music for a while because I got into producing from like, you know, Mr. Carmack and shit, like SoundCloud guys. Yeah. How old do you, if you remember, how old were you when you started producing? 14 maybe. Yeah. 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 Now I'm 25. Age. So it's Crazy. trippy, dude. It's a trippy world out here. You just gotta grab the flowers and, and smell them. <laughs> <laughs> Don't let the flowers pass you by. It's got a tough world. <laughs> <laughs> no, but for real. Um, <laughs> for real, yeah. I basically like uh, started producing in like Ableton. Off rip, Ableton. Off the rip. Nice. Actually, I started with. Uh, Garage band, garage, garage band, garage band, and then FL, and then I I couldn't for the life of me understand it, and then um I went to Logic, and I was like that's <laughs> so <laughs> not Ableton off the road. I don't like Logic. <laughs> I, that I then I got to yeah. Ableton, yeah. <laughs> but the thing is <laughs> yeah wait it's so not Ableton. No, 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 like no. Every other one. I tried everything, but but uh, no oh, this man. was in a period of a month. To be honest. Oh, okay. Oh, so it was a quick trial. So you're yes. giving like a one week trial to each. <laughs> yeah. And then so I'm like, I'm like, no, 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 not this. <laughs> um, but I ended up using, uh, I went to like where I had my guitar lessons. They were giving lessons on how to use Ableton. Mm, that's it. So it was yeah. perfect. And it was like pretty perfect. early. Like this is 2015, 20, 20, yeah, 2014, 2015 or something. Um, and yeah, so I did that and he taught me like the basics. And then I just used it to make my own shit after. And he was like, every t time I had a class, I'd come back and I'd be, and he'd be like, very good job, Zachary. <laughs> He's like, very sick beat. <laughs> I'm getting good at this. <laughs> but yeah, then I just got obsessed with it. Um, wanted to make like young lean style beats. Obsessed with that. Posted on SoundCloud. Got in a community. Skyping with producers across the world. And um, just made became boys you know and then like support each other online and then somehow i ended up here you know what i mean it's just like a crazy talking. yeah it's a weird uh it's a weird like progress but through none of this did i think that it would be a career it was all just for fun it wasn't like oh i'm um i'm skyping these producers so that we could be making a living with music and have a career in music and we're going to be epic. This I'm just going to hold one. it. Um, yeah. I mean, that's actually funny because, uh, like some people know, I actually started producing at 14 as well in mm. FL Studio. No just way. like fell in love with it. Yeah. Same yeah. age. Well, wow. yeah. 14. And now, now that I know we're the same age, it was like literally the same time. Yeah, which dude. It's crazy. It is trippy. I did FL for like four years. And then once I got to college, my roommate was in Ableton. And I was like, oh, this looks mm. kind of sick. The switch. Yeah. So I switched then. Dude, FL is dope too, though. I like the drum pads in yeah. FL. Everyone, but now you can do that in Ableton. They added. Oh, like, can you? Like, like the a, grid? Yeah, there's like. A, I thing. meant the grid. Sorry, like how you yeah, could yeah. draw in. Oh, yeah, I, I didn't know exactly you could do mean. that. Like the um, 
You mean like the sequencer? Yeah, like because you could just draw in the pattern, put all your sounds, so you make a hip hop beat. Like yeah, yeah, yeah. They they added that for Ableton in like, eleven. Like it's um, it's like a Max for Live. Thing. Oh, Max for Live. So yeah. Someone made it. Like made. I gotta made look at more Max for Live. <laughs> yeah, it's sick. crazy, man. But um, but yeah, man, it's crazy. Like That's how awesome. how that happens. Everyone has a different you, journey. Yeah, and you just like like you were saying, you just do it because you you weren't like oh I'm gonna blow up no. as like a producer. You just love doing it. And, you know, it was fun. That's how you make the best shit, honestly. For sure. I feel like now it's a job. It's very different. Yeah. Very, now very it's different. a whole different You know what I mean? Vibe. It's weird, actually. Yeah. It's weird to think about it. Like, once it's official, it's very, like, a different mindset to towards music, you know? Yeah. I took a break from producing as we kind of started Sheesh the yeah. past three years or so. And I recently am getting back into it. But it's so, cool because there's no pressure now yes like i'm not relying on it to like try and live or whatever dude it changes and it's just way more fun now it, you literally are just fucking around so yeah. i guess a little bit more about our story mm. we so we met in college and i was actually managing perry because he was producing djing nice. electronic music so that's kind of how we got into the music industry and uh now that we're doing events again here in la we do we book like three artists for like an intimate type of vibe and then do an after party um, with DJs and Perry DJ at our last one. I saw that. Yeah. So it's kind of like so, a full so circle fun. moment for us. <laughs> That's so yeah. dope. sick, dude. Fuck. You got to pull up. To, yeah. uh, not while you're... We got to book you for so, like, yeah, at, well, some, yeah, that, at some point. I'm so sick. down, dude. I'm so down. Yeah, you we know, got one coming up. Next time up. you're in L.A. Dude, hit me up. Yeah, dude. we should do it for I'm sure. I'm all about it, dude. I'm you were at, I was actually talking to Brad for our very first she show that we were going to do Last we wanted to April. book you mm. but at that point like we were just still figuring out like the venue situation and everything so it didn't work out That's but cuz we try and like book artists that are here cuz like the travel expenses everything it just gets cuz we're doing right now just like a 225 cap Dope. so like we just want to sell it out and make it like an intimate vibe for sure um so yeah, like next time you're out here, we gotta we gotta do something. I'm all about it, man. I, I'm trying to play more shows this year too. Yeah, I haven't played anything this year actually. Damn. This year's just been like working on music. That's good though. Like if the down. album comes out, I'm sure you'll do. Yeah, 100%. do some stuff. Yeah, and we're we just we're, we'd be looking for like a 30, 40 minute set. Yeah, you know it. Nothing crazy. Pitch Dude. pitching him. Yeah. <laughs> no. But anyway. Yeah. Dude, you know what? I'm gonna do like. I would do like a. We want 25 minute performance, 15 minute comedy. Yeah, I was gonna say. <laughs> yeah, we need some. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna some say. Comedy. I could do half and half actually. I'm gonna do 15 minute. No, sorry, 20 minutes for Sachi, 20 minutes Zach Farage. Ooh, Ooh. that would be sick. And I come out wearing something totally different or just naked, and <laughs> and like. And I get kicked out. <laughs> and It'd be my, legendary. Though. My whole thing is like, no, no. <laughs> I'm not leaving. But then you put clothes on and you come back. I come back Versace. and I'm like, hey guys, sorry about my brother. <laughs> He's crazy. Like. Sorry about my bro. He's fucking crazy. He loves this music shit. <laughs> <laughs> we got to make that happen. We that will. That would be wild. That shit's going to happen. And then you recently got your uh, visa. You're yep. telling us. My Huge. Huge. Congrats Huge. on that. Thanks, yeah. guys. O one visa. Working... Working ain't so hard no more. <laughs> so does that give you like total yep. access? I can way? I can steal any person <laughs> of my choosing <laughs> in the in US. I own both of you. You're mine. Eh? Your guys are now Could working with me. <laughs> Could be worse. <laughs> but no, I can just work here. Um Which yeah. it was like a problem before, like not having it, you were saying. Yeah, I mean like I was I still was getting visas. For like working out here, but, but they're, they're shorter, temporary, yeah. they're shorter term. Like uh, we're talking like two, three months at a time. Mm. Um, and this one I just got is like two, three years. Uh, it's huge. Yeah. So massive. So, so yeah, you could I, like theoretically move here. Yeah. Yeah. I chilling. mean, I think I could have moved. I can move during regardless, but um, the like operating your business is different. Yeah. Yeah. For sure. Do you think you'll ever? leave toronto or yeah yeah i think so um i don't know when but i think i will where do you think you'd go probably out here man yeah. um you could like split time too 
Yeah. Which could be sick. I kind of want to, like... Um, Cause Toronto still has, like, a lot to offer as well. Definitely, man. Like, I, if I were to, like, I'll be honest, like, my... Um, I would want to get a place out here that I could, like, rent out to. Like, like in terms of, um, like, having a lower floor or some shit. It's like live Airbnb out of. Yeah. or something, yeah. Like, buy a place or some shit. Like, that's the dream. That's the move. Yeah. yeah. Passive income, We talk too, about that all you. the time. Yeah, man. Do Airbnb. I just want to make... I want to... Um, I'm just going to take people hostage and then get them to pay me or... I will let people rent out my house. One of the two. <laughs> okay. One of the two. I think we'll option figure it out. two might be a little bit safer. But yeah, but what's easier? One. So sure. Option one, for <laughs> sure. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, I also wanted to talk about, like, any up-and-coming artists or just artists you've been jamming to. Yeah. Um, I love Alex G. Alex G is a really good one. Um, I'm loving the Gene Dawson stuff. Uh, I'm loving, honestly, there's this kid I found recently that was really cool. I don't know if he's a kid, but his name is Quantic and it's like really cool, almost Deftones vibes. And I just found Deftones recently, to be honest. Um, yeah. So stuff like that. I love, um, uh, like shoegaze sounding stuff. I'm a bit, I've always been a fan, but I, I haven't really listened to much. Uh, who else? There's this new. There's something new that I really like that I can't think of. I think it might have been. Well, I'm I'm always a fan of Yeet. You know, like I'm always listening to Yeet stuff. <laughs> but there's this. Um, it's a wild phone case. You know, like yeah I. It's just like the corners. <laughs> yeah, I know it's just the corners. <laughs> I'm getting rid of it because everyone like, I'm seeing it on TikTok. And everyone else is, is it even protecting now. like your phone? No, dude, I live in fear. <laughs> <laughs> I like to live in fear. Um, oh yeah, so Quantic is pretty. Uh, Quantic, Quantic. How do you spell it? Uh, Q U A N N N I C. Yeah, I wasn't gonna find that. <laughs> um, I'm listening to uh, Claro, some old Claro, Alewife. Um, This guy, um, what is it? Benjamin Lazar Davis. Crazy. Oh, it's he had this the song like uh, Seven Ways to Love or something, or something like that. Anyways, I'm trying to find like some like like deep cuts. I've been listening to a lot, you know, just trying to find. Um, I'm looking at credits of like songs I like. And seeing like the artists or producers and looking their looking stuff at their up. stuff, yeah, some crazy things, dude. Like the producers mm. for um, the this guy that was producing a lot of the uh, Frank Ocean like DHL stuff and in in my room, uh, like writers and stuff. I was looking at I was trying to find their things that they've written on or yeah or you know worked on mm. like made themselves and it's so cool like most random shit sometimes but. Very He's cool. doing a deep dive. Like those are the people yeah. behind the scenes. Yeah, yeah. Love dude. looking at the credits. Yeah, man. It's, it's kind of the first thing I do now. Yeah. Like when I see a yeah. song I like. Yeah, it's I become agree. A same. habit. Because it's almost like you assume it's gonna be. You're gonna see someone you know, maybe. Yeah. Or yeah. Like, and it's also crazy when you see some of these mainstream artists, and it's like 15 writers. Oh 10 my god. Producers. Crazy amount of yeah. people. <laughs> yeah, dude. Yeah, it's yeah. insane, dude. Like those splits must be crazy. Dude, figuring that out. <laughs> some of them, yeah, like literally, you, they must be like earning so much money. If like, or if it's not, then that's insane. Like, yeah, like I feel like to have that many writers, how is that being paid out? Like, <laughs> yeah. that's insane, dude. Wow. But yeah, what are you guys listening to? Who? That's a good, phone good question. Good question. Potis. Thank you for flipping it back on us. Let's see. Oh, I dude, like. I'm curious. <clears throat> Perry, you could go first. Yeah, I'm trying to think. Well, well, we were talking about this recently, recently, but I, off camera too when it was overheating. Um, another one I thought of was Dijon. Yes, yes, he's Dijon's so talented, fire. so good, man. Um, Dude, didn't he just play a show? Like, yesterday? yeah, I saw it was oh, a, fe- a festival. Festival, yeah. Where? I have no Reset. idea. I don't know where was it, it is. Was it in LA? 
a lot of LA people went. I yeah, don't know. I saw. I didn't even hear yeah. about it. I didn't it. hear about yeah. it either, dude. I was we, like, he did a pop up uh, like a year ago, and we tried to pull up like, ah, oh, there'll be maybe two hundred people there. Oh, bro, there was a line around the block. No, and we were just like, that's so yeah, sick. Yeah, we're though. not. That's no, it's sick so him, sick. Man. We're not getting in. Um, His show was probably one of the best shows I've ever seen. Oh, you have I seen him before. I saw him in Toronto, yeah. I mean, there's too many people. I really like um, like Lucky Day. Yeah. Cool. Um, I have to check out more of his stuff, but I've only heard a couple songs. Yeah. Like, because, I mean, with Sheesh, we're finding new artists, like, every day. Yeah. So, I guess when I'm saying who I'm listening Kamari. to, it's like, Kamari. Yeah, Kamari sick. sick. What was that? Good, good R&B. Um, just dropped a project. Ooh. Kind of on that, like, Frank Ocean type of wave. Cool. Yeah. Yeah, we'll um, have to like send you some music because there's just too many to so many to give. I'm trying like, to think. Um, we love Dom. Yeah, I'm not Dom gonna dive too like, into the too small of artists, but yeah, fair. These are the people I like listen to a lot. Yeah. yeah, yeah, dude. The new the new Dom stuff is cool. Yeah, Dom's dope. The, the do you hear that Spider Man track with Kenny? Beats I haven't listened to it yet. Is it good? It's cool. Yeah, because it the the production is kind of like a house beat. Well. Yeah, I could which see is that. very yeah, different. Yeah, Kenny Beats does different shit a lot, huh? Yeah. I like that. I like Benny a lot. Benny. Benny. B -E oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's 100%. E yeah, She's Benny's so sick. sick. Her so voice sick. is incredible. I love her stuff so much. I'm a f Oh, dude. Provoker. Sick Provoker. band. So Provoker, check that out. Like the yeah. One of my favorite bands ever right now. 100%. I'm putting all my cards in on that right now, dude. All right. Like, like that. that's my favorite shit. Um, I recommend it. I actually really want to work with them. I was actually planning on doing working with them last trip. Is he? Out, are they out here? He yeah, out they're here? out here. They actually responded to my DM, and I got really giddy. I was like, <laughs> I was like, oh, hi. <laughs> no, and all my pre all the previous messages were like, dude, I love you guys so much. <laughs> oh, um, oh, guys, you're sold out. Tickets, kind of. Please come. Can you please, please let me in. I really want to come to this concert, but I, 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 oh my god, guys, please! And then no response. And then I'm like, hi, I'm coming for, <laughs> I'm coming for a week in, uh, in like April or whatever. And then I was like, I'd love to work on on your project with you guys. <laughs> and then they finally got back. Sorry, your message was stuck in the request. And I was happens. Like, yeah, yeah. I was like, what? What's the craziest like cosign or DM you've received? From like an, um, you know, like an artist. Chain smokers probably. That's sick. Wow, that's, that's cool. dope. Yeah, they've been working with a lot of up yeah, and comers. They, have they just been. did one with three, four, seven, eight. I saw that. Yeah, which is sick. I actually did. I did a, uh, a session with them. That's sick. Which was cool. That was cool. Uh, it was definitely a trip. Like that's really cool. like the weirdest. Uh, feeling you know what was I mean? that like recent or october, october okay yeah. yeah pretty recent yeah yeah pretty recent but yeah anyone else um I'm trying to think i mean everyone i've i've worked with is so sick man i i feel like i i get excited to work with almost every single artist um i i've worked with i'm trying to think i'm blanking hard right now but oh you know what was really interesting to me dude was when I was working with uh, Aries last week, I'd never seen him like work on music before. Like I'd never seen him in like that in environment. His mode, in, yeah. yeah. So it was really interesting to see how he did things, and like how in his writing process and stuff. So that was like really crazy for me to see. And it was really cool because he was helping me write something for me. So, That's dope. <laughs> so I was like, I was tripping out, and he was really, he's really sick, man. So he's one of my favorites too. So it's just like yeah, you know me what too. I mean? No, Aries is like top. It's very so, so consistent, and that's something that's I'm trying to work on for my stuff. You know what I mean? Like I'm and trying that's what's, to. Sorry, I mean to cut you off. No, no, that's good, what's cool about working with other artists yeah. and producers is you guys can kind of learn 100%. from each other's workflows. Dude. Also, Bakar just came. Oh to me. yes, Bakar. Bakar is amazing. It's a good one. I saw him live too. In yeah, Toronto? we just yeah, saw we him just, live yeah. a month or two ago. How's that? <clears throat> so dope because he has an album coming, mm. Halo, this summer. So he he played a couple songs, um, and then like the curtains closed, Ooh. and then we're like, oh, what's going on here? And then he just emerged. He, he like 
walked right by us in the crowd and like ended up in the center of the stage. Oh. There was like CDJs and he just plugs in his phone and he started playing uh, oh, the new album. So it was like a cool. listening party kind of. That's cool. Yeah, it was dope. Um, Dude. But he's really good live too. That's so fire. Do you guys, you guys like Healy? Yeah. Ever, yeah. Where has he I like been? Healy. I don't know. I think he. I'll he hasn't really dropped in a while. I think I feel he, like. he just, I'm, I could be totally wrong, but I think he just finished an album. Okay, Ooh, sick. Soul yeah. he had too. Yeah, totally he's sick. Totally he's sick. I did. I I brought up Healy because I did a session with him in 2021, and that was sick. That was. It's he's one of those. Has that music ever come out? Or I don't know. I don't. I know with him music I did with him. No, I didn't. No. Still could maybe. On but the he's he's dope, man. He's goaded. Like, he's a really cool writer, and a cool person too. So like he those did Nikes, right? Nikes, yeah. Are, or, yeah, is it Nikes? So sick, that's man. That's like his biggest. He used to rinse that a lot. Yeah. During COVID days and dude, stuff. That's a good one, dude. All of them are great. There's others, but yeah, man. Yeah, but there's so many great artists out here. Like for real. I I've been working with a lot of writers, like and producers. That's my been my thing. You know, just trying to like get something for, fresh for other people or uh, for, for both, your stuff too. Both, yeah. Both like for me and for um other artists yeah yeah man so it's been really fun to like to do that to like just go in different worlds and keeps out. things fresh yes 100 benefits your own artist project too I'm you sure. know it <laughs> <laughs> so uh what's next obviously just released a couple singles yep um next is singles more singles and then album um working on like just like completing and coming up with like visuals and, and whatnot. I want to play more shows this year before the end of the year and um, more collaborations because I haven't had any collaborations other yeah, than I one. Say, I had like yeah. one collaboration. Like I've collaborated yeah. with other people and been on their songs. Like Basquiat technically? Yeah. Yeah. yeah who, like be your, who are a couple like dream clubs? Um, I would love to have a song with, honestly, Bakar would be sick. <laughs> that would, that be, would be nuts. I feel like that would be a really cool, yeah. like, mix. Your production and your yeah. vocals with his, like, his tone is crazy. Yeah, that, I love his, accent, his like, it. his cadence is insane. Yeah. Um, you and Aries need to drop yeah, something. Yeah, for sure. I'm sure that'll happen. Yeah, that's that's definitely something I want to do, too. And, um... Who else? I really want to work with Provoker, dude. I'll show you guys their music after. Yeah. But very, very cool stuff. It's very like um, rocky, like, but kind of dark rock shit, like shoegaze almost, but not. I can't explain it. I'm not explaining it. We'll we'll hear it. We'll share You'll some music. It. <laughs> yeah, <after> yeah. This. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, that's what's next for me, guys. That's the that's the plan for now, and we're gonna see where that takes me. I guess. Let's go. We'll be here awesome. for the ride. Yes. In a shisha. Y yes. <laughs> yes. Yes, you, you know it. Dude, I'm so about it. I'm so about it. I saw I saw like uh clips from the last one. Yeah, Looks last crazy. one was dope. It was our best show for sure. Hell yeah. It was it was so much fun. And we got another one coming June fifteenth. Oh my god. So I think you're just up. leaving. I'm like, yeah, I'm literally leaving on the tenth, bro. Uh, uh, it is what it is. But so right, plenty Rick. more coming. Yeah, another one. Okay, I'll be on the next one. Well, thank you, brother. My this guy. was awesome. Dude, thank you for having me. My guy. My man. Thank you so much, guys. Let's go listen to music. She yeah. rocks. <laughs> That's an official message from Versace. Versace. Hi, guys. I'm Versace, and she's awesome.